Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Jack, and I'm with Northwest Bus Sales. Today, I'm going to be showing you a 2012 Ford F550 Global. This is a 32 passenger or a 28 passenger with kind of a makeshift rear luggage in the back, uh, powered by the 6.8 V10 gas and only 90,000 miles on it. I'm excited to show it to you. Let's check it out. All right, coming on to the front here, as I said, Ford Triton 6.8 liter V10 gasoline engine. Of course, a company with a automatic transmission. Gonna give you a shot of underneath here. All right, gonna show you the front passenger side tire getting a little low. Uh, the fronts are around 5.30 seconds, rears are around seven to nine. So tires are getting a little low, still past DOT, but just want you to be aware of that. Um, coming on inside, we have an electric operated bifold passenger entry door. Uh, gray flooring, yellow step nosing, and some grab rails coming on inside. All right, we're gonna go over the driver area here. Driver seat upholstery, looks great. No big rips, cuts, tears, anything like that. There's no foam sticking out, fraying in the stitching. Looks good going all the way down. Uh, gonna show you the mileage here. 90,000 miles on a 6.8 V10. Got a lot of life left on that. Uh, going from left to right, we have your, uh, this is an OEM Ford uh, AM FM CD stereo. It does have an aux input if you want to plug in your phone, a couple of 12 volt ports, and then uh, your driver AC and heat is all into the OEM switches here. Down here, we have your rear uh, air conditioning controls. We have your blower speed thermostat. This is your rear heat, and then your reading lights and all of that stuff. All right, in the back here, as I said, 28 packs with a little bit of a rear luggage area or a 32. So we got Freeman Featherweight high back seats. These do have side sliders as well to make a little more room. You can slide uh, this seat out into the aisleway. Also, they do have recliners on them as well. Uh, seat covers looking pretty good from first glance. Uh, you'll see little minor things of wear and tear on them here and there, but over and above all, there's no big holes or anything like that. So this is a 28 passengers. You can see the rear door with a little makeshift rear luggage, and it does have a roof hatch to support that. Um, I'm gonna get this seat down here, show you what it looks like. There we go. Sorry, it's somewhat difficult to do with one hand, but we're figuring it out. Okay, and there's number two. Boom. And so there is the full capacity of the bus right there at 32. All right, up top, we have overhead parcel racks there. People can put their luggage or little bags, whatever they want. We got some dome lights going down the center of the aisle. Speakers zigzagging their way down the aisle, as well as that roof hatch there. You can see the back of the covers here looking great. And oh, I do want to point out, look at that uh, ceiling mounted AC evaporator. Nice and big AC, huge AC on this guy. Looking beautiful. All right, that'll do it for the inside. Let's check out the outside. So this does have an underfloor storage pod here. Don't see that often on a shuttle bus. So that's a pretty cool feature. Um, you can see that there, only one on this side. Looking good. I'm uh, gonna show you the rear uh, passenger side duals here. And a nice pan of underneath. All right, I will say there's gonna be uh, minor scratches on the sides of the bus here, probably for some branches. I'm gonna try to show them to you the best way I can. There's kind of a decent one there on the rear passenger side skirt. Uh, there's some more on the driver's side I'll show you. Corners are looking good going all the way up. We got your rear door there, emergency exit door or for the makeshift rear luggage. Also has a rear step on the bumper to help you in. Driver's side corner looking good. Now hopefully I can get the light right. You can see these little scratches here going down the bus. See those? Kind of hard to see, but they are there and I just want to point that out. Obviously, mainly cosmetic. If you don't like those, we work with a great paint shop up in Seattle that can help you out. I'm uh, gonna show you the rear driver side duels and a nice shot of underneath. Look at that, that frame is looking beautiful. Skirt mounted AC of uh, condensers down there. This does have a uh, driver's side running board. This just allows for an extra step coming on into the bus. And last but not least, we have your front driver's side tire. 
Well, thank you for watching this Northwest Bus Sales exclusive video tour. If you like this bus or any other buses in our lot, you can call us at 1-800-231-7099, visit us at nwbus.com, or email us sales at nwbus.com. Thanks for watching.